క్లాస్ టూ ఇంగ్లీష్ వన్ చాప్టర్ సెవెన్ నేమింగ్ వర్డ్స్ ఫర్ బిలాంగింగ్ టాపిక్ ఫర్ టుడే ఇస్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ బి గివెన్ ఆన్ పేజ్ నంబర్ థర్టీ టూ డియర్ చిల్డ్రన్ వీ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ నంబర్ ఏ గివెన్ ఆన్ పేజ్ నంబర్ థర్టీ థర్టీ వన్ Today we are going to start with page exercise B given on page number 32. Uh, we learned that to show belonging of a naming word, we use apostrophe and S. And how do we write that belonging? By uh, writing the naming word and using apostrophe and S. to show the belonging which is an another naming word now let's read this instruction fill in the blanks after adding apostrophe and s to the names to show belongings so in each question you will find some naming words uh, with in brackets these naming words possess something something belongs to these people the name of these uh, th- uh, people possess something own something something belongs to them and something it is written something about those things so let's read the sentence and use apostrophe and s with these names to show their position now in the first question dash mobile is lost so mobile is lost we understand something is lost but whose mobile is this this is what's the name given in the bracket tanvi so how do we write that this mobile belongs to tanvi tanvi's mobile is lost so we have to add apostrophe and s without giving any gap and write tanvi's to show the position so how do we write it tanvi's mobile is lost now we understand this the mobile which is said to be as lost belongs to tanvi number 2 dash dress is pretty and the person to whom it belongs in the bracket given here is kriti so how do we write the position the belonging kriti's dress is pretty pretty means beautiful kriti's dress is beautiful so we write kriti apostrophe and s without you should remember children there should not be any gap between the name and apostrophe and s question number 3 a squirrel's tail is bushy yes it's like a bush lots of hair so it's called bushy the tail is very bushy whose tail is bushy squirrel's tail here it is not a special name it is a common name it can be any all the squirrels have bushy tail so here we are not talking about any particular squirrel's bu- uh, tail we are talking in general in common so that is why s is small here so we write squirrel and apostrophe and s to show a squirrel's tail is bushy number 4 hina is the word given in the bracket so something belongs to hina what is that doll is broken so doll belongs to hina and that doll is broken so how do we say it hina's doll is broken so hina and apostrophe s question number 5 what's the name given in the bracket shoba shoba possesses something what is that possession clothes so how do we write this position here belonging shoba apostrophe s shoba's clothes are in the cupboard number 6 what's the name given in the bracket akash so akash has something here what belongs to him bag can you bring akash's bag here so we write akash's bag whose bag akash's 
which bag you are going to bring here akash's bag so we write a capital special name k a s h apostrophe s so this becomes akash's bag here number 7 the dash football is in the locker what's the word given in the bracket boy so whose football is this boys football so how do we write boys b o y boy apostrophe n s so the boys football is in the locker number 8 why are dash clothes dirty so who is the possession of this clothes the dirty clothes nina so nina's clothes so we have to write n i n a apostrophe s clothes so when we add apostrophe and s to all these names given in the bracket it shows that something belongs to them and that belonging comes after this apostrophe and s word you write this word name apostrophe s give gap and the possession that thing that belongs to them comes after so tanvi tanvi's mobile kriti kriti's dress squirrel squirrel's tail hina hina's doll shobha shobha's clothes akash akash's bag boy boy's football nina nina's clothes so you see how all these people or the living things possess something this apostrophe and s is used for this style of saying or using naming words for belonging is used only with the living being not with the non living things so i hope you have understood this exercise do this exercise neatly in your copy and read as many number of times these sentences that's all for today children take care